Start with the black paper. So split your black paper into nine sections. That means you're going to do two, and of course this does not have to be mathematically precise, two lines vertically, two lines horizontally. And the middle section you're going to split into two. So actually there will be ten sections. Okay. Our first strategy is blending. E-L-E-N-D-I-N-G. Blending. For blending, take two colors. And then you may use your finger if you want. It is messy. You can use paper towel. You can use... Um, you can use Q-tips, but we're literally just going to start smudging them together. And you'll notice when you start smudging them that there's dust. So you can just get the dust off, add some more color. So you're just going to put two colors and mix them together. That is blending. The next uh, strategy is called short strokes. And guess what? You're right, it's short strokes. So when you're doing short strokes, try mi mixing colors together. There will still be some paper showing through. Think about the direction that your lines are going. Try different directions. If you use some sides of the, uh, some sides of the pastel might be sharper than others, so you can see what happens when you use different edges. It blends as easy, but the pigment comes off. Because it's dry. This paper is also not very toothy, so you'll, when we work on the watercolor paper, you might notice that more stays. Short strokes. The next strategy is called hatching slash cross hatching. And hatching is parallel lines. Cross hatching, believe it or not, is parallel lines better than crossed with perpendicular lines. So the closer the lines are together, the more solid the color is going to be. But there is still that line, linear quality to hatching and cross-hatching. This is called hatching or cross-hatching. Hatching slash cross-hatching. Uh, hatching is just lines, per parallel lines like this. And then cross hatching, you cross them. So cross hatching tends to make like darker values or more coverage. Boop, boop, boop. Next is side stroke. Side stroke. Hee hee, wee, swimming, swimming. No, it's not swimming. 
For side stroke, you want to try, you want to have a smaller piece of, um, of pastel. So if you have, like, if you can either break one or find a smaller piece. And side stroke is literally just using the side, using the side. So see what happens if you maybe use more pressure, if you go in a different direction. Side stroke is great for um, filling large areas. And the next one is side stroke layer. That's the one that's split in half. And the reason I want you to split in half is to see what happens when you do a light over a dark versus a dark over a light, or just two different combinations. So here I'm going to do a side stroke with pink. I'm going down, and then I'm going to go across that pink with yellow, the opposite direction. And then on the bottom one, I'm going to put the yellow down first and cross it with pink. And so you can see they are similar, but there's a different, you get sort of a different color from the different two different layering orders. Next we have feathering. Feathering, feathering. Feathering is sort of like short strokes and sort of like hatching, but it's longer strokes. And the strokes can vary in direction. This is a good strategy for like hair, maybe for fabric, grass. But feathering is using longer strokes. Hey. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Cool colors. The next one's sort of fun. I mean, I guess they're all fun. It's called twist. And twist, you're also going to want a smaller piece of chalk. And twist is literally just, you're just going to take the piece of chalk and twist it. See what happens. And maybe see what happens with a bigger piece. This is called twist. So this is sort of a fun effect. It's like a, maybe could be sort of like floral. Uh, it might be, yeah, if, you have a, if you're really good at twisting, you might get a perfect circle. I certainly don't. Mine are like little claws or something. <laughs> so twist is sort of like, it's reminding me of like a 80s background, school picture background. The next strategy is called pointillism, and I bet you know what that is. We're going to start here in this one. Pointillism. I don't know if I spelled that right. But pointillism is sort of like short strokes, except it's even smaller. So we're just making dots. But you'll notice that the dots, you might have to push a little bit. So even though they're technically dots, they are sort of directional as well. This is called pointillism. Pointillism. Point. So this one you can hear. I don't love pointillism that much, but yeah, that's right. Sounds like a rainstorm. Pointillism. Whee! <laughs> Fun. 
I actually do like that one, I guess. <laughs> and the last one isn't really a strategy so much as it's just drawing. So the last one, just see what happens when you are drawing. Make lines, make whatever. See what happens when you use the edge. There are your nine and a half drawing. Yep, just whatever. Just see what happens when you just regular, just do it regular. <laughs>